won't make it back to Iowa. That I'm not sure. I believe the booster is not that good, but I never. I think as long as it stops, I don't. I don't really. Gnarly. <laughs> We've got a lot of items to start functioning before we can actually leave and try to make it 500 miles home. He said there's a cam in it. He said there's. So a cam hopefully in it. it's not just a misfire. <laughs> It's been sitting long enough for the gas to turn burner. She didn't know about the lifter tick till we got here. Too late to turn around, boys and girls. <laughs> this might be the best right away one we've had yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you <laughs> well, we must have had front brakes earlier. Now we don't have any. Barely any brakes, barely any transmission. That means it's perfect. What's smoking so bad? So many issues that we don't know the issue, if that makes sense. Been on the road since 3 a.m. Trace a.m. Yeah, we'll see you in about four hours. Bro, turn the volume down. What can you tell me? Used to daily drive it here and there. Started getting a front end shake. A little death wobble action? Uh, it was more of it would just start floating around a little bit. Well, that's pretty fun though. I feel like you're on a roller coaster, right? Oh, yeah. Got all the parts to fix it, just never got around to it. Mechanical fan and the fan shroud to replace this. Does it, it work? Out. Oh, it crapped out? Yeah. Okay. And then the old Edel broken worked pretty good? Yep. Yeah, bunch of strokes wired up, it all works. Oh, perfect. Somebody put an ATI distributor on it at some point. Oh! It's wired to a toggle switch under the dash. So okay. Pretty much too. Okay. So the start is bad, it's still in it though? Yeah, I okay. got a new one sitting in the garage. I believe the booster is not that good, but I never had any issues. I think as long it, as it, it stops, stops I, don't, I don't really care. Pretty much nothing works but lights. That's I think all we need, right? This is another intake. That, oh, we got an air gapper. Yeah. This is what came on the car. I swapped it for the other one. Okay. Very Promise? Good. Got a little bit of a lifter tech going, but that's about it. Gnarly. Well, we've been this far, so. Uh, I've had this listed for sale since... June or so, and you're the first person to come. No sh. Yep. What? Yep. You didn't have any freeze in her. A little low, but ain't no thing like a chicken wing. We'll make it back to Iowa. That I'm not sure. My only really concern would be body panels falling off. Well, the brakes. <laughs> the brakes. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll probably tow it down the road and uh, into the old Riley's parking lot and probably work out of there. Do we love it? I think we gotta love it. We got it. Yeah. We gotta love it. As we agreed online, I'm gonna miss the car. you're gonna miss the car. Yeah. Well, to be honest, I'm gonna miss it too. This is my dream car. I bought it when I was 19. Well, don't tell me that. I might cry. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah? Super bad. Welcome to the next iteration of uh, us on the road buying something that, uh, just gonna be honest with you, if we wouldn't have drove this far, we would have passed on this sucker. She is a rust bucket. This right here, boys and girls, is it's the prime example of a 72 Monte Carlo. So, fun fact for you, Sean right here, this is my favorite Chevy muscle car. If you guys consider it that, let us know in the comment section. Do you consider a Monte Carlo a muscle car? Obviously at 70, 71, and 72, this is a 72 right before the big body style change, I think. Let's just give you a walk around before we uh, we tell you the story about it. If you look around, you know, on camera, this ain't, ain't going to look too terrible. But here's, uh, here's body filler a million in this poor old girl. She's from Missouri, so you know that, uh, you know some rednecks took care of her really well. And in all decent, in all options, it needs uh, quarters, it needs rockers, it needs floors, it needs... Uh, Actually, what? doors aren't too bad. So the doors aren't too bad, but it needs everything else for that matter, even a trunk pan. So the terrible thing is, is it had a vinyl top on it, which made it rot in the worst spot possible. Right here. So we have ourselves a prime glory hole going into the trunk. 
for all your pleasurable activities while you're broken down on the side of the road. We got our typical moss. This is great news. Usually this means we're getting home. If there is fungus and moss on the vehicle, we are, we're guaranteed to, to make it. This time we don't even need to fake the patina because she's got so much patina it hurts. Let's look at the interior and then let's get to our plant. We kind of need to get moving. We This time we're at a, we're kind of on a, we're out of time. We're out of time. We're already out of time. See right through that, like always. You know what? We can get some. Uh, we can get some flashing material, and it'll be just fine. Sam, the nice gentleman we bought this vehicle from, said that uh, he drove it up until he didn't, because the whole front end is it's like that. It's like a little whale. It just flaps everywhere. Let's pull this baby and show y'all what we got. Okay, I know you're gonna be mad. We did two small block Chevys in a row. I'm sorry. They're just so frequent. They're so frequent and easy to find. Supposedly this ran a couple years back. By a couple years, we don't know how long ago. Um, some things got done to it. Some other things happened. We're just gonna pray is what I'm trying to tell you guys. Oh. I don't even want to there. <laughs> At least it's not summer. At least it's not summer. The mud daubers? Yeah. Convicted. Ah. Long story short, it got parked because of the front end and also got parked and won't start because of uh, a starter issue which kind of scares me a little bit because we have some gnarly wiring under the dash and some other items that have transpired that I wholeheartedly don't trust. But that's why we're here. The guys that don't know a lot. What, what time is it, Alex? About 10, 10.30? 11. It's 11. <laughs> it's 11 o'clock. We have a couple hours. I forgot my big light. Got my little light, but we only have a couple hours. We need to get this front end for, uh, functioning. We got to get that engine functioning. We got to get this radiator functioning because this fan doesn't work. We've got a lot of items to start functioning before uh, we can actually leave and try to make it, how far? 500 miles home. Yeah. Both of us have to be back home by basically midday tomorrow. He said there's a cam in it. He said there's a cam So hopefully in it. it's not just a misfire. <laughs> and also said it might have a lifter tick, which means um, oh, I'm great. guessing the cam's going round. Everything's in our favor today. Look at it. How are we doing? Do you mind if we work on... 70 Monte Carlo from the side lot over there. You don't give a rat's ass. Depends on what you're doing. You know, a motor swap. No, not a motor swap. We just got. We just got to get. We just got to change I, I the oil. Be against it. <laughs> so we'll be against it. Um, and we just got to do enough to get it running to drive back to Iowa. It hasn't ran in about 10 years, so. Okay. Yeah, if you want to, you can. We'll be buying shit off here, so you guys will make money on us. So. We're just going to guess that the start in is fine. <laughs> I don't know. Just, we, this happened once to us once before. I think that sounds uh, ungood. Oh, let's change the starter and pray that that's not something else, right? The previous owner said that he had basically everything to rebuild the front end in here. Just towing it behind the Dodge made her shake like my knees before I had to give a speech in eighth like, grade. Ah, Cardi B. Cardi, they don't know who Cardi B is. Nobody look up who Cardi B is. We need to run through the parts. A bag for you. A bag for me. Hey, look at that. Ball joint? Yeah. Oh my gosh, dude. That's exactly what we need. Oh, there's the lower. Oh my gosh. Here's another upper. He had him marked. He was a fiddler. He fiddled. He was a fiddler. He did. Good job. I bet some shagging got done in these Monte Carlos back in the day. Oh, new. Oh, bearings. Tie rod? One of them. And then another one. We have everything when it could have just been a tire. What else have we got in here? Oh, dude. Look at this. Those are definitely not going on today or tomorrow. So whoever owns this next, Get some brand new coils. So we also have Folgers cup full of, we don't look in there ever. Never look inside random bolt box. Oh, free safety glasses, dude. We're gonna put these in the trunk and they're gonna fall back out. That's fine. Beauty caps are ugly anyway. Um, so right now we're at the parts store. So if somebody comes and offers us, offers us a decent price for this, we'll just Four pack up. We'll just leave. We'll just leave right now. If someone comes by and wants a Monte Carlo, if uh, you're watching this right now, you're too late. All the, all the front end. Did you see how the fenders are held on? Oh yeah, because there's no bolts in them. 
<laughs> we're not here to take uh, talk you know talk crap by any means because i uh have built and done a lot worse items than we're seeing here so main thing in here is we just need to make sure that um everything was truthful that we were told and uh, that that motor is actually still good dude i think if we take these upper ball joints out i think we just throw the new springs in we said disconnect the sway bar and it'd come down all the way down did you get a starter out oh wow that thing sounds rancid oh yeah it does <sighs> i put it i i haven't tried out for shot before. so while sean was taking out the starter getting these calipers off so we can start changing some suspension parts <sighs> look at the hat is that a rock? <laughs> I think it's a wasp nest. Well, <laughs> it just looks like a giant rock. <laughs> Dude, that was crazy. I don't know how to spin a starter. Boys and girls, somebody help me. We need Bob from last week. Bob. 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 Brand new starter, boys and girls. Something on these Monte Carlos that I always found very funny since I was a little kid was looking in here and seeing the absolute amount of space between the radiator and uh, the engine. Somebody went ahead and took the shroud out and put this electric fan that stopped working in it. Possibly just blew a fuse, which I might check because it hit that mud dauber nest and then cooked it. Probably most likely that's what yeah. happened. I'm gonna check that before I do anything. Oh, the fuse is good. The fan is bad. I do wanna try it though first, just in case. It's just the mud daubers. You don't wanna take it home? You got the doll already there. <laughs> Now, I'm just going to drain the oil. Daily driven death trap. So executive decision here is a terrible decision. We're, we're deciding to work on the suspension before we drive it? I just wanted to do something while you were doing this. Oh, so since Alex is on this side now, I'm going to hop over to this side. And we're just going to start throwing all these nice new parts onto this front suspension and just pray something fixes that absolute disgusting wobble and if nothing fixes it we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow morning to uh, probably get some new tires for this old girl process of events that have transpired this caliper bolt where is it at the head twisted off and broke so then, which led me to go get the new caliper, which is great. It has uh, new bolts in it. Um, then that led me to have this happen. That is a brake line. That is that brake line right there that broke off. So gonna need a new hard line. Then, which led me to believe or led me to know that the soft lines are special order. That head was rounded over. So now I'm trying to surgically take this off. So that way we can reuse that on the new caliper. We're not going well. I'm doing just fine. His side's great. My side is everything that could go wrong has went wrong. But we're okay. It still looks like by the sun about 1 o'clock. Have lunch. Here's the scenery. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. So what do we think is going to happen? Stay. Oh my god. Oh dude. Look at this thing going over there, dude. Should we go like see if he'll do a burning? We do hey, will you do a boy out for us? Hey, will you do a boy out for us? Yeah. Oh. oh my god, dude. <laughs> is that a ghetto booty <laughs> anyway about two o'clock had a nice little lunch now we are back in action we ended up kicking the springs in pretty heavily the old spring depressioner did not make us depressed enough to go in so we just kicked the heck out of it and it worked sam the gentleman owned us before us he had the new parts already in it we decided just to throw everything in since we already had to do the ball joint so new shocks new coils new upper ball joint we could throw the lower ball joints in and the tie rods we are running out of time as you guys seen on the other side i uh broke off the hard line somehow we're gonna have to fix that and then we still don't know if this actually runs well enough to get us home if it runs well enough to get us home then we'll be uh, happy campers but as of right now we are unsure on uh, our life story thanks to this o'reilly's what town are we in harley bailey 
Check I don't know. This O'Reilly's gave us some skis. Never heard of them, but lemon and orange. A couple hours of working on the old girl. We've got kind of a rebuilt front end, which is nice. Um, I've got a twist off brake line on the passenger side. What else do we have that's bad? We don't know if it runs still after it's been sitting for as long as it has. We don't know a lot, but I think uh, what we need to do now is kind of halt our production on the brakes because we know we can mess with those at this point and uh, go ahead and spray some starting fluid in it and see if we can get the start on varnish. It's been sitting long enough for the gas to turn varnishy, so at least a year he said it's at, it didn't, it didn't set for a long time, but I would fathom guess it's been about five years, being honest with you. Um, five years later, we're gonna see if it still uh, sounds good. It supposedly has a cam and a lifter tick. Didn't know about the lifter tick till we got here. Too late to turn around, boys and girls, once you're uh, eight hours away and people don't know what's, their vehicle's going, going for it, then that's what happens, so. Let's uh, get some starting fluid in this old girl and turn the ignition on and let her eat. Okay. All right, time to get the voltmeter out. We at least have uh, a good fuel pump. Hey, so he said that the HEI was wired in later, which uh, that's whatever, fine and dandy, I guess. We gotta figure out if it's getting voltage now, because HEIs don't just stop working. Well, the ignition module, I've had a lot of those fail, but it's kind of more rare than not. But we're gonna check this thing, he said. I don't see anything happening, though. No? And most I got was six. It might be a bad ground. Let her rip. Go ahead. Hey, she sounds good. All right, turn it off. It sounds pretty good. It does. It sounds really healthy. Had a little lifter tick because there's no oil up there. No oil got up there. It sounded great. That's sweet. All right, go go pee. Where am I? You're at O'Reilly's, bye. Please lock it. I wonder how much is in there. <laughs> it might be easier. This time. Yeah, I think it's gonna be easier just to um, we get as much as we can out of it, and then just put the sea foam and shit in it. Hey, there's an exhaust hanger right there. So, what's going on right now? That's what they all want to know. To be honest with you, I have no idea. We have good ignition, actually. I Something was messed up in that distributor. Took it all apart, cleaned some things play with some things and uh he literally just touched it i literally touched it i might bob gave me the asc certified technician touch check out our last video <laughs> check out the last f100 video it was magical we met f1 guy f1 you oh mean 50 f150 it was one of those f something long story short fiddle with that played with a little bit got that to work we took a couple canisters of gas out of it so that way you don't have so much nasty gas that gas had to have been what alex like four years old it's varnishing. Yeah. Or it's very varnishing. So we got that out. Um, we do need to get a different clear bowl filter. This one has a bunch of junk in it. Sam said he did put a new fuel pump and a bunch of other new parts in it. So that being said, as long as we're charging and we can get this brake line fixed and uh, act like we're going to actually install some gauges, I think we're going to be good. Maybe hit Springfield tonight. Stay there and wake up early and head back. Yeah, and maybe even do a paint job. I'm what's gonna say it's gonna be flat black is that's our plan I think we're gonna see what we can do we're very strapped on time now we just learned even more so so now uh, 
basically we just need to get this thing to run right and uh, hopefully it drives straight. We just put a whole new front suspension in it. It's more torque than your high torque. Right, yeah, Mike. Uh, I, I want to be honest with you guys. I got one of these big headed high torquers, Milwaukee's. I think I'm going to call it subpar. Wasn't not, worth the money? Not worth the money. This guy was, I got his Christmas gift, so thank you, Taylor, for that. But this was uh, definitely a better investment than this high speeder. It's just nice. It's nicer so you can break stuff loose and then still, you know, tighten it manually. That thing, you can't even use it manually. So you just have to use it on that. Oh, really? You can't, yeah. you can't wrench with it? No, you can't wrench with it. Oh, that's you weird. You can't wrench. <laughs> Dude, boys and girls, this might be the best running away one we've had yet, dude. I'm telling you. She uh, sat for about five years, which is, uh, you know, that's not too terribly long. So not unlike that freaking small block Chevy last week. But this time, we got a good old Edel broken. We've got aluminum intake. we got four barrel. And it's idling like a dream. But keep in mind, it's going to be smoking right now a little bit. Because I just poured her full of sea foam and also full of everything under the sun so we get everything unstuck but um he was saying here's a lifter tick i don't hear a lifter tick i hear a small exhaust leak but other than that for you rotella nice and thick so we need to get a temperature gauge at the very least on it um obviously we don't have an oil gauge on it but you would definitely hear if we didn't have oil pressure she would be the end of the world last thing tonight that we're gonna have to fight is gonna be this final the final boss is uh, the brake line that goes whoop, whoop, and then over to there. Once we, if we had that brake line right now and I wouldn't have snapped that off, we could have been on the road. It's only four. It's only four. We got here at 10. This has been one of our luckier strouts, but we still have a big, big, big trip. As you see with the Jeep one, this is not over by any of the means, and we still have a lot of work to, uh, to make happen. All right, turn her off and let's get at it. <laughs> Come here. Oh. <laughs> Come oh, here, wow. fucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You guys I think our favorite one to film is actually the one with the least views so far. And it's really? The, um, the orange race car. It's a 56 Chevy you did. Huh. And that was my favorite because we uh, we whipped that thing around the track pretty hard. Oh, did you? Really hard. Once you let it like settle for a little bit, then it'll give you break. And then if you do it right after, you have nothing. No bueno. It must be like booster or something. Well, we must have had front brakes earlier. Now we don't have any. And we have no brake back brakes at all. Well, you have a whole Walmart parking lot, so. That's pretty cool that the brakes and lights and everything work. Even the interior light, when you open the door, the buzzer works. It's just pre it's pretty crazy how well together that thing is. Barely any brakes, barely any transmission. That means it's perfect. I think if we get a little bit of tranny fluid in it, we get a little bit, make sure I didn't lose any brake fluid on our drive, um, I think I'd feel comfortable limping it a little bit. Probably just going around it. Oh, that's a warm. Weird. Ooh, I wonder if the thermostat's not opening. Oh, that's not even that warm at all. The tank's not even warm. 
Well, that wasn't even enough of a, of a drive, I wouldn't yeah, think, I either. It was green 200 already. That's kind of wild. It could just have a bubble. Well, we got to clean up this ninth gentleman's lot, and then I think we're going to hit the road. Ooh. Always leave your campsite better than it was originally intended. That's why we're pouring concrete right now. Yeah. Brand new concrete. Two dips. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You call me Michael. That's brand new concrete, bro. Set rep on the Monte Carlo. We're gonna head out. We're seven hours from home, from this exact spot right here. We are gonna just throw her on the old highway, hit the interstate, try to hit the minimum if we don't have the death wobble, and uh, give her all she's got. I think we're gonna end up pulling an all-nighter. Probably getting back home about two in the morning, three in the morning. We'll see what happens. We'll see if she lets us down or not. So we'll, uh, we'll see you guys on the road. Smoking so bad. Fast bank. Oh, like mad. It's like right by the starter. Did the temp finally? No. It's all over the place. And it's just so much fumes down there, bud. Looks like it's coming out of the back of the intake. We can ask him why it leaks so much oil. So I think the valve cover gasket might be shot. Did you do anything with those? Okay, well then we'll, we'll pray that that's the problem. We got about 20 miles down the road and then everybody else is closed. So this is our best chance to turn around and come back. Yeah, I think that's it. See that little yeah. goober? Six in a row, ready to tow, waiting V, raise it down P. Sometimes you just gotta wonder why you put in the rectum. We're gonna stay a night somewhere. We were gonna two time it real quick. But see if we can get it done under in 24 hours. Yeah, we were almost crazy. Had her. We almost had her, dude. But she gave him in with the whole left hook. Left hook. Chris Brown? And knocked Brown on her butt. That's what it was. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> So? Yeah, a bunch of smoke coming out. Is it out. white? Yeah. But I, I don't know if that's still the issue, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's, we have there's so many issues that we don't know the issue, if that makes sense. I think for the night we're just going to get some rest and um, we'll get some case seal tomorrow. I don't know. That's, I don't know what to say. Good morning, guys. Looking at the aftermath of last night. Yeah, so that's our view under the car, and then in the dipstick, it looks like we're perfect. So we've got some interesting stuff happening. We seem to think the the head gasket's given out because this thing is letting out a smoke tunnel behind it as we drive. But we also we also don't know exactly what the issue is because um, we had a little bit of milkshake on the valve cover, but that could have just been from sitting the moisture in the motor. Um, as well as I'm using a couple uncertainties. I think we'll figure it out and uh, we'll kind of just improvise. The bad part is, is Alex has to get on the road and uh, get back home because he's got to go film a wedding proposal that's pretty important. I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be hitting this baby girl pretty hard myself. I'm gonna try to make it to a, a certain spot and uh, I don't I've I've kind of directed the troops at home to. Um, let's just say send uh, reinforcements via four wheelers and uh, four wheels and a pull behind. So, black diamond construction. <laughs> black diamond construction's on its way. So, do you want to give your thoughts about the intake, so, or is that just just thinking here? So we're, I'm just spitballing <laughs> here, but um, 
I think when the intake might have been installed, might have been, I had a corner that missed a little bit of silicone or used a gasket, I don't know. But that's why we're dropping so much oil. It's blowing out the back of the intake manifold and from the lifter valley. And that's what our, I think our oil leak is. Um, but I'm also, yeah, I can't tell. We, we changed the valve cover gasket and that's what it looked like it was coming from, but I don't know. It's hard to tell when you don't do this stuff. And, and the fear chance of the matter is we just uh, still just don't know. So um, I don't really want to ruin the motor, but we're gonna get this baby going and hopefully collect another hundred and some miles on it. And I'll just watch it as we go. And we'll pray that till 350 heals itself. Or I'm gonna get to a parts store this morning and change the change the intake manifold gaskets, which I don't want to do, but. We, uh, we could try it since we have, if we if this is as far as we can get, we have five and a half hours before anybody rears their head so I can actually get home. So, um, yeah, we're going to load as many tools as I can get into Monte Carlo, and uh, then Alex is going to follow me to the parts store, and that'll be, uh, that'll be that. There is the remnants. Monte Carlo. Oh my gosh. There's always time for a coffee even when your head gas gets blown. So, we're leaking oil like profusely. You gotta get a drink though, you know what I'm saying? Hey, thank you so much. You too. It's wrong. No smoke because it's probably because it's cold out still. Dude, every time you step on it, gas just flows out the back because it's so horizontal. Oh, they messed up my drink so bad. Oh no. I asked for vanilla and heavy whipping cream. I didn't get either. What? I got a dark coffee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I took one sip and now I feel like I'm gonna jump off a damn wall. It's not smoking. Yeah, I was thinking because it's cold, but. I think it wouldn't tell well, you by we now. I drove this thing home from freaking uh, <laughs> from, <laughs> from Arkansas. Yeah. yeah. When it's negative degrees. I think I'm going to throw some KCL on it and send it. It's not oiling either, I don't think. Well, I'm sure it is. I just don't want to look under it. But Well, you have to make it to Springfield either way. I will make so. it to Springfield <laughs> if I push the damn thing. Bro, are you a 4x4? Four four? I got a 4x4 four four and more, man. You're squatted, dude. It's you ready, squatty dude. potty? I got a stump potty at home. Probably blow this in my face. Go oh, what? Home pressure. Wow. So, here's your predicaments this morning. No smoke. A little bit of gas flowing out. No smoke. No oil on the ground yet. Something's weird. So, we're going to put some KC on it. I'm going to buy about... Three quarts of oil, four quarts of oil, and I'm gonna book it to Springfield. Alex is gonna book it home, and I'm hopefully gonna meet the team up in Springfield. If this makes it further, you're darn tootin'. I'm gonna go to Davenport. You're not gonna look at Lincoln? I would love to look at the Lincoln Museum. <laughs> I might still. At this point, if this thing is gonna actually do well, I'm. All right, on this episode of um, Jerry Rig Mechanics, I'm gonna put some K Seal. Just because I've seen this on other shows work really well for head gaskets. And then for the oil leak, we're going to use the old blue devil. Uh, we're going to pour this in the oil, pour this in the rad, and then just start praying, I guess. And then I'm going to go to CVS, get some cream for the coffee. And then I'm going to hit the road and try to get to Springfield with this old girl. Hell, if the works in minutes, works in seconds, we'll be good to go. And if this works all, we'll be even better off. All right, we are motoring along at about 50 miles an hour. Um, I don't know, I'm just hitting her 50 just to be easy on the old girl. It's a nice cold morning, so it's gonna be really hard to get any temperature in it, which is fine because if I look back behind myself, I don't have a smoke screen like I did last night. So uh, the only thing I'm gonna tell you guys is make sure you get something to uh, balance your tires correctly because this uh, front end just balances like a mother trucker from these uh, junk tires that I think sat for a little bit too long 
and they're really not even that old comparatively to the old ones we've been using. So I'm kind of just uh, right now. I'm just kind of waiting to see the smoke start pouring out and uh, this interior starts filling smoke. But we're, um, like I said, I'm just kind of dogging it and praying that it just stays below temp and doesn't create a lot of pressure. Because if we don't get a lot of pressure in it, I think we might be okay. Plus that case seal starts working as well as the oil leak stopper we're we're probably going to be in business about two hours in right now an hour and a half we're going 51. that's fast i'm going so i'm taking a lot of country roads sweet it's a sweet road because uh, it was old uh, route 66 so it's really cool uh, scenery around here so i get to go 51 and enjoy that i also get to go 51 and enjoy all the middle-aged white women coming up my bottom and then being angry when they pass me do I care? No. It's Monday morning. All right, we've made it 40 minutes, and uh, yeah, I don't know if that's for me or not. That's a lot of oil. Holy cow. But anyway, Route 66. What do you think about that? Another middle-aged white woman on my butt. Um, but I'm leaving the heater on so it keeps circulating that uh, nasty... Uh, head gasket water and uh, it's getting warm in here like profusely warm so the heater works great in this wish we would add this for our Arkansas trip other than the lack of uh, it wanting to keep any fluids inside the motor it has so I am approximately two hours out of Galesburg Illinois which I think is going to end up being the rendezvous uh, rendezvous with my guys uh, with the trailer um, now I called them last night thinking that I didn't think uh, this thing was gonna even make it to this morning anywhere but it's uh, we're again we're hauling 51 miles an hour all the way I am uh, I'm, I'm gonna retract the trailer off for when they get there and I'm gonna keep sending this thing as far as it'll go I mean if it will if it will make it I will make it happen with this vehicle um, but if it continues, uh, you know, if it, if it loosens its life, we're gonna, we'll change plans. But as of right now, everything's looking fine other than uh, on my jackets over the three gauge cluster, so I don't know what's going on. I'll tell you what, this is kind of what this hobby is about. You get a nice gentleman stop by asking about your vehicle and you get to talk to him. Just like uh, how America used to be. So right now, the Monty is at Road Ranger. And uh, we still have our oil leak. Um, but, so I'm thinking the dipstick that's in this engine isn't correct because it is still showing full even though I've been driving this thing for three hours now with a massive oil leak. So other, other items that happened. We lost our cap. And the heat works really good. Other than that, we're making a making our way to Galesburg. Funny story at the last gas stop, I said, you know, she ain't gonna be no, ain't no show car, but she'll be a great dirt road car, muscle car. And uh, I guess we're on dirt road for about 15 minutes. Now we just hit another uh, slightly paved dirt road. So good old Illinois has some really interesting, uh, ah! some really interesting like drives like i'm literally on a model t road right now this is just a paved dirt road that's one lane this is crazy and good old google maps always having your back when it comes to doing this stuff 250 miles in lonnie is uh doing well i think like i said no cases work anymore so we're cruising along i signed up the antelope bed we're going about 60 61 um, there's a terrible noise in the front end. I I think it is just the power steering pump or some metal on metal sound. I don't think it's the motor, but if it is, it's definitely a rocker. Um, not a big deal, I suppose. So we are 60 miles away from Rodney Boot Point. Um, I think I'm just going to see that right now. She's, you guys see it back there? She's smoking once in a while. I have a hypothesis to that, but still unsure. You know, it's just, it pops off randomly and lets out a bunch of smoke. 
So I don't know exactly. I'm sure you, uh, you real uh, machinists know what's going on, but I'm just about to be to guess some different things. Uh, but all I know is it's running. It's running decent, and I'm going to keep on giving her the berries until uh, she doesn't uh, take any more. All right, guys. We made it out to Davenport, Iowa. Here's the plan of action, guys. Um, this old girl has made it about 350 miles on the back roads all the way here. We've been on the road for darn near, I've been on the road for about six and a half hours now. And I just met up with the guys. So thought process being, this is, I can, I'll turn it on for you guys so you can hear it. So she is actually still starting every darn time, which is extremely impressive, but. Right now, you can hear it. She has a pretty solid lifter tick coming out of the passenger bank and then once it warms up, we have a low end knock. So I think the plan of action here, guys, is we are just going to go ahead and throw her on the trailer. And with what we did, we basically mended the head gasket with a bottle of goo. And at this point right now, I'd rather have something to rebuild and or something to sell rather than if I'm on the highway cruising at 65, 70 miles an hour, we end up throwing a rod or lose the cam and then everything locks up. I go in the, you know, safely, I, I just don't think this is a good idea for this to stay the way it is. I'd really like to actually maybe think about doing a budget rebuild on this for our first time. And here you go, you can, it's just getting worse, so. Let me just unplug her. She is, uh, she's leaking oil pretty profusely too. So I'm just, we're probably gonna call it. Um, I'll get her home and we'll do the outro at home, but kind of a sad event. We did make it so 600 miles home. We did make it 350 miles. And uh, if anything, that's very impressive for a vehicle that had all the problems we were having yesterday, let alone sitting for about five and a half years um, being filled with and um, getting her back on the road. I'm calling this a win. This is uh, gonna be a pretty sweet vehicle. I think uh, we're either gonna, we might keep it and do some, uh, do some fast and furious Tokyo drift entry scene vibes to it and uh, do a little um, video with it then. Maybe a muscle car, uh, budget muscle car build. I don't know, we'll see. What do you guys wanna see with the Monty in the future? Uh, drop it down in the comment section. All right guys, we made it back home. All good vehicles go to die. No, this is the worst possible way to get I know one of these guys home. I wish we could have been driving it home, but at this point right now, we are unsure to do what to do with the Monte Carlo, especially with the bum engine. Um, right now, we're gonna probably post up for sale as is, and if uh, situations arise differently, maybe we'll throw a different engine in it. Maybe we'll do something different. Basically, at every video, I have a, you know, a lesson to be told. So this one, it was a good time, had by all. We had a very good time doing it, and it was full of a bunch of surprises. Now, this one came with marketplace telltales. We came into the situation kind of not knowing what we were getting, and it ended up kind of hurting us due to the fact that the old Monty was in much worse expected condition, and uh, educational-wise, we uh, really didn't know how the engine was rebuilt. We don't know what you're getting on marketplace, in reality, it could be a cammed motor or it could be a blown up motor. Slight failure, on to the next one. Um, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Make sure you uh, hit that old like and subscribe button. It really helps us out and makes us uh, wanna keep doing more of these for everybody and entertain everybody. I know I enjoy doing it, especially with friends. It's a good old time. And if you want a Monte Carlo, specifically this Monte Carlo, hit us up on our Daily Driven Death Traps uh, um, website or PM us. See you guys on the next one.